Welcome to the Data Hall YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to talk about how do we count the number of observations in R. So there are different things that we are going to discuss. Um, how do we count the number of observations that are there in in a data frame? Uh, how uh, how many number of observations do we have for each category uh, in our categorical variables? Uh, so kind of a tabulation, uh, making a tabulation. Uh, or frequency table out of the categorical variable. So let's load this tidyverse uh, package. Uh, if you haven't installed it, then you would uh, need to install this package using install uh, uh, dot packages and then write the name of the package within the parenthesis and that would install this package. Remember to, to use inverted commas. Uh, okay. So I'm not going to install this package. I'm just going to load it uh, using the library function because I need to use this, this diamonds data set in this tutorial. Uh, so I'm going to load this diamond data set uh, using the data function. And we have this data set over here. So what this data contains uh, are 53,000 observations and there are 10 variables. It contains different uh, parameters related to diamond. So we have the carrot, the cat, whether it is an ideal premium or good, it is a categorical. Then again, we have color, which is a categorical variable. We have clarity, depth, price, etc., etc. Okay, so uh, if you wanted to know about the number of rows this data frame contains, then we would use the end row and specify the data frame. Uh, we can also check the number of columns and uh, or we can use this dimension function to get the number of rows and as well as the number of columns. Now, this is not what we are interested in, in this video because we can already know the number of observations and number of variables from our uh, from our environment. Uh, what we are mainly interested in are the number of observations in each category. So for example, we have this this color category, color variable. We want to know how many diamonds do we have within our data set for each uh, for each category of this color variable, right? So how many observations we have with the color of E, how many observations do we have with the color of I and so on and so forth. For that, uh, if we are going to use the base R function, we would use table and uh, so within the table, we would specify the column that we want. So we have, we are going to access the diamonds data and using the dollar sign, we are going to specify the column. Remember, uh, this is how, how we, 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 we specify a column within a data frame. Uh, so we want uh, this table functions to get the, uh, the number of, uh, number of observations for each category of the color variable. So if I press control enter, now we get the number of observations. So this is just for a single category. If we, if we were to use, uh, say for example, we also want to know uh, uh, for, for each color and for each, let's just say, uh, uh, let's just say we have this cut variable or clarity variable. So we want to know how many observations are there with the combination of color and clarity. So now we have two categorical variable and we would get table. So uh, let's 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 use cut and that would give us a better understanding. So so we have these uh, these five categories within cut variable over here, right? And for each uh, cut uh, category, we want to know the number of observations for each color category. So it is a, a, a two dimensional uh, tabulation, right? So uh, previously we, 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 we looked into the one dimensional table and this is a two dimensional table. We can keep on increasing the dimensions and let's just say, let's add uh, one more uh, category and let's use clarity over here. And now, uh, because we have three dimensions, what it would do is it would first give us uh, the uh, you know the same two-dimensional table 
using the first category of clarity which is i1 then using the second category of clarity and so on and so forth but anyways uh, i hope we do not need three levels uh, of categorization let's use the the tidyverse package and if you are going to use tidyverse package do load it i have already loaded it uh, so i do not need to load it again but anyways i executed the command so within this tidyverse package there is uh, this uh, useful function that is called count count performs the same task as table but it is somewhat more uh, more tidy way of working with with the data uh, and, and it would get uh, clear in in a while so uh, we use the we, we use the count function and within count function the first parameter would be the data set that we want to use and after the comma we would specify the categorical variable using which we want to generate the category so if i press control enter uh, you would see that we have this color uh, categories and we know the number of observations and you can see there is an uh, underline around this thousand digit right now these are not sorted and within table function we didn't had any 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 parameter to sort this using the number of frequency let's just say if we if we use this sort uh, set equal to true uh, by default it is set equal to false what it would do is it would sort uh, based on the number of observations within each category so previously it wasn't sorted based on the number of uh, uh, categories rather based on the uh, based on the the al uh, alphabets or the category names but now it is sorted based on using the sort uh, parameter it is sorted based on the number of observations that we have within each now if we want to have a two dimension uh, table uh, what we would do is we would just add the second dimension after the comma so now we want to have the number of observations for each color and within each color for each clarity right so if i press control enter uh, what I get now this is what makes it different from the table function uh, in table function we would get a table right and uh, uh, tables are fine but they're not you know tidy way of working with things and uh, once we move to this section it would get clear to you why count is a better way of working with with tabulations so it gives us that within the the D color uh, we have this i1 category uh, clarity and there are 42 observations for 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 the for the cross section of these two categories right and uh, okay if you want to increase the categories it would keep on increasing the column and we would get the number of observations for each uh, category right now why one one more reason for for using count is let's just say if if you want to add a column uh, over here that would count the number of observations right uh, what we can do is we can take the diamonds data and pipe it this the sign is used to pipe uh, whatever is left on the left side of this pipe operator towards the right side so we take the diamond data group it by color right uh, this is same thing as over here but instead of uh, just getting uh, the the data in the terminal we want to create a column so we are going to then pipe it into this mutate function and what mutate does it it creates a new column uh, we want to give the name uh, as n color to this new column and what it would contain is the number of observations so if i execute this uh, we are going to obviously store this operation within our diamonds data and now we have this new column and we can see that within this color e category we have 97,000 uh, 9,797 observations and that obviously repeats wherever we have the same category and if you want to make sure that whether that is correctly done or not we can use this count function again and we can see that for the e category of curl we had 9797 observations so we can add a column and obviously if you wanted to make it for each color and each cut uh, let's rename this to a 
another name uh, and if we execute this we get uh, the number of observations within each color and each cut category we can also count based on a condition right so let's take diamonds data pipe it into this filter function uh, again from the tidyverse package and what we want is we want to count if the cut is ideal and the color is e uh, and then we pipe this into this count function and this would just give us a single number uh, suggesting that within e category ideal cut we have 3000 903 observations uh, so i hope this this video was useful uh, if that is the case please subscribe to this channel and do hit the like button